I stopped brushing my teeth around 10 years ago. I ate three whole onions last night and my farts are unfathomably disgusting. <laughs> and this video's done. Hey guys, you're Courtney, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be diving into Reddit confessions. Reddit can be a very fun place, but it can also be a very scary, dark, we're gonna be reading people's confessions and we're also gonna be going into the subreddit called Am I the A-hole? It's basically where people post about their dilemmas and we have to decide if they were the A-hole in the situation or not. I was inspired by my friend Deb on YouTube. She did this video and I loved it. So y'all go check it out, but let's get into it. <laughs> Brace yourselves, because people on Reddit are scary. Subject. I stopped brushing my teeth around 10 years ago. <laughs> and this video's done. What's going on? Honey, what's going on? I haven't even finished reading what you wrote and I have already started feeling heart palpitations. Do you understand what you're doing to me? I can't say exactly for how long or why, but one day I just stopped. <laughs> I stopped brushing around middle school and I'm not saying I don't at all, just extremely rarely. Basically on dates, important meeting stuff. Why are they like not using punctuation? It's confusing me. Basically on dates, important meeting stuff like that. Mostly just to freshen up. I haven't seemed to have had any issues due to this. I've asked my dentist while in the army if my teeth were all right. And other than a bit of calcium buildup, I was fine. When I do brush, no blood comes out of my gums and no pain or cavity. I am in no way condoning this type of behavior. But at this point, if it's working, I'm a bit scared to go back to brushing. Excuse me. You are afraid to go back to brushing. I just know if I was in the same car ride as you, the windows would be down the entire time. The windows would be down the entire time. Because at this point, you are a walking biohazard. What is the actual reason? He claims that he hasn't had any issues due to this. I really feel like people are just smelling it and not saying anything. Because, you know, sometimes, sometimes when I smell someone's breath, I, I don't immediately say, mm, it's thinking. I don't do that. I don't do that because why? It's not absolutely necessary. So I feel like that's what people are doing in his personal life. And you know the crazy thing? These are the people that talk the most. People that have an odor to their breath happen to talk the most. You know you don't have that much to say. I'm not even trying to be mean. I just don't see the the negatives to brushing your teeth. Somebody commented This is only a confession to strangers. I can assure you anyone close to you knows that would hurt me He thinks that he has a secret, but deep down. This is a known thing Pe I don't think people ever questioned that you didn't brush and then also this is just like a reminder to everyone Brush your teeth having messed up teeth is very very expensive to fix cavities root canals all of that It's not worth it Brush your teeth Brush your teeth at least once a day. <laughs> and also, quick thing, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being a Reezy. If you don't know what a Reezy is, you must be no. You must be, because Reezys are the best people on the internet, okay? The only way you can become a Reezy is if you hit the subscribe button, so you know what to do. You know what to do, and becoming a Reezy does a lot to your life. Just look at the testimonials in the comments. Look, the moment they hit the subscribe button, clear skin. Like, how did that happen? <laughs> it's just the magic of the Reezy, okay? Hair is growing. Nails are growing. Look, I'm telling you, there's a magic in becoming a Reezy, so become one today, okay? I never knew we reuse sewer water. <laughs> what do you mean? So apparently, toilet water is taken to the sewers, then that sewer water is treated and put back into the ocean or reused as the city. Hold on, wait a minute. City's drinking water. You mean to tell me I've been drinking highly filtrated poop, puke, blood, piss water all this time? This isn't something we talk about? I mean, I always wondered what happens to sewer water, but I assumed it just disappeared into the void, not reused for our personal purposes. You mean to tell me that when I boil water to make my macaroni and cheese, I'm boiling somebody's filtered poop water? I don't like this, and I can't believe they've done this. You know what? I can truly relate to this because I knew that we reused water, but I never internalized that it was the same water that's in my toilet. I never thought for a second. I never thought for a second. Never thought for a second. This is fully changing and affecting my relationship with water. Every time I wash my hands, I'm gonna be thinking about how this water was once in someone's toilet. That's all I'm gonna be able to think about, and you know what? It, it, it frightens me. 
Am I the a-hole for taking my dog in the same elevator as someone terrified of dogs? You know what, as someone that used to be terrified of dogs, I don't even need to read this to know yes you are. Yes you are. Unless you absolutely didn't know that they were terrified of dogs, then that's understandable. But if you knew, I'm sorry you're scary. You're scary. I live in a large apartment complex. I was heading out with my dog so I needed to take the elevator down. My dog is eight years old and she is a very well behaved girl. She doesn't bark at anyone. We were waiting for the elevator and when it opened there were two people inside. When the door opened and my dog tried to enter the lift, the younger woman started shrieking, and I mean literally shrieking. No, 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 I'm very scared of dogs. <laughs> Do y'all like my reading? <laughs> Please let me know because when I was in school, I used to always get nervous because for some reason, every time I start reading, I would start stuttering. It was almost as if I didn't know how to speak English for some reason. But right now, it just sounds really good and I don't know if y'all like it too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I tell the passengers, the elevator is for everyone, including dogs, and we both enter. As a courtesy, I keep my dog on a very short leash and keep her behind my legs at the opposite end of the elevator. The passenger is yelling, get out, and has pushed up to the back of the elevator. My God, this woman is scared. <laughs> she is scared. Look, okay, my fear has never been this extreme. But personally, if I had this dog and someone was screaming to this degree to get out, I'm leaving, because something's going on. Like, I don't even care to be in the elevator that bad. Like, come on, I can wait for the next one, because it's kind of sad. I don't know. It's kind of sad. And now that I'm like very comfortable with dogs, I see why a lot of people that are comfortable with dogs don't understand why someone would be afraid of dogs. You know what I mean? But the only reason I have that point of view is because I like dogs now. And I'm sure the person that brought their dog in doesn't understand the fear that the person that's afraid of dogs has. The passenger is yelling get out and has pushed up to the back of the elevator. I reply saying, if you don't want to be in the elevator with a dog, you can take the next one. Oh. My God, <laughs> chill. She declines to leave the elevator and we have an altogether uneventful 20 second journey to the ground floor. At no point did she say she's allergic to dogs and had that been the case, I would not have taken the same elevator. When we exited, she made several comments and a-hole was one of the nicer ones. I ignored her and walked to the car. Was I under any obligation to take another elevator? I agree if there's an allergy or something of that sort, then obviously take the next elevator, but this wasn't the case. It seems pretty discriminatory on her part to react the way discriminatory to a dog i mean i support rights but damn <laughs> maybe she has had a bad experience with a dog in the past but that has nothing to do with my dog from my perspective if she reacted like that to me because of how i look that would be racism parentheses i'm brown um i'm confused we are talking about the dog we are talking about that's animal. Like, I don't know if you're trying to gaslight us to somehow see this as a discrimination situation, but I'm not seeing it. I don't understand what you're saying. What are we talking about racism for? She's just afraid of dogs. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I consider my dog to be family. So why would I put up with discrimination against my dog? Am I the a-hole? Should I take the next elevator the next time? Yes! You are the a-hole and you should also take the next elevator the next time because what's going on? Is there a reason that you absolutely had to go in the elevator? This woman was screaming for her life. You think she wanted to do that on purpose? <laughs> I'm speaking from the perspective of someone that used to be afraid of dogs. Like, I'm telling you, it's like a psychological thing. Like, you're genuinely afraid. Like, even if the dog is calm, like, you think that the dog could attack you at any moment. And um, I feel like it's very similar to people that have phobias of stuff. The phobia may not make sense to you, but I'm telling you, it's real. Like, these people are scared. But honestly, if I saw someone that scared, I would feel bad for them and leave the elevator. Like, it's not that serious. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about the whole entire dog situation because I think that was kind of messed up like you could have just took what is that noise what is that what are you doing play family island what's family island you don't know what family island is no I, I don't know what family island is are you serious are you are you gonna explain <sighs> Family Island is the leading farming mobile game out today. It tells the story of a Stone Age family that is stranded on a deserted island and they have to start from zero. That requires farming, building, and so much more. And they're gonna have to collect natural resources to build their dream home. You're gonna complete daily tasks by using energy points and precious rubies. I'm planting, harvesting, and eating my crops. I'm basically starting from zero, okay? I'm starting from zero. And literally anyone can play this game. Guide your family through exciting events, and also there's weekly events that keeps the game so fun and engaging. It's honestly just never boring. And you can also reach the top of the leadership board so you can win some prizes. You can download it from the App Store or Google Play for absolutely free. And you can connect to Facebook so you can see your friend's progress. Look, I'm literally enjoying the wildlife from the comfort of my own home. From the comfort of my own home! I can experience the jungle without actually experiencing the jungle. I <laughs> 
Oh my couch! And honestly, I enjoy games where I can honestly see the progress of the game. I like being able to see plants growing and the house being built and seeing the progress of the entire land go from nothing to something. But yeah, I absolutely love Family Island. What do you think? Huh? Hello? Uh, oh yeah. Download Family Island today. Am I the a-hole for bringing my sister-in-law's wallet to the restaurant when she conveniently always forgets it? Oh, not on my watch. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. If we go to a restaurant every single week and for some reason you always forget the wallet, mm -mm. I'm gonna start forgetting mine. And now we're just gonna be sitting there looking stupid. Who paying for it? <laughs> Y'all take Apple Pay? Like what's, what's, what's gonna happen next? My sister-in-law Amy always comes to visit from out of town. She stays with us instead of a hotel and always wants to go to expensive restaurants. She always conveniently forgets her wallet or domes up with some excuses as to why she can't pay her share. She's implied that since I make much more money than her, I should be the one to pay. No, not my husband should pay, but me specifically. I do make a fair amount of money, but not so much that I can treat someone every time time they come to town. Nonetheless, in the past, I have just paid the bill and asked her to pay me back. She never has. Oh, we don't do entitled. We're not gonna do entitled, honey. I think that's crazy to expect someone to pay for you, especially when you're the one that wants to go to the expensive restaurant. She had made a reservation and she's the one that's making the reservations. Mm. She had made a reservation at an extremely expensive restaurant last night, and before we left, I made it clear that I wouldn't be paying her bill. This is where I might be the a-hole. And I'll admit, I got this move straight from an episode of Two and a Half Men. As we were leaving, her and her husband went to the car. I pretended I forgot something and went back inside. I found her wallet sitting right on top of her suitcase. I put it in my purse and we went to the restaurant. As you should. Why is it on top of the suitcase? This is like a different level of disrespect. I'm sorry. Like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why are you okay with someone always paying the bill? Why are you also okay with looking like the person that's always forgetting their wallet? It's shame 100% out of the discussion because it seems like people are lacking shame and we need to bring it back. 2023, we're bringing back shame. <laughs> we are bringing back shame because there's no way I would be comfortable being known as the person that never has their wallet. When we were done eating, I asked for separate bills. She said, no, we need one bill because she forgot her wallet again. I reached in my purse and said, this wallet? Come on! That girl. I wish I was there to witness this because imagine the shock on her face. Imagine the shock on her face. She probably felt like the biggest dummy in the world. And gosh, that must have felt good. <laughs> she was extremely furious she said that i should not have touched or grabbed her wallet so am i the a-hole for taking her wallet and bringing it to the restaurant no no and why is that woman mad she brought your wallet shouldn't you be happy the title of this confession is a bit worrisome i keep reading it over and over again in hopes that it'll change I'm hoping that I just want it to change because I'm not understanding. I ate three whole onions sauteed with salt and pepper for dinner last night and my farts are unfathomably disgusting. It's the way they had to let us know that it was sauteed with salt and pepper as if it makes a difference. Three whole onions? Do y'all understand how big onions can be? <laughs> you are a scary human being. This is the type of person you don't mess with. I am not joking. This is serious. I almost puked because my tooth smells so bad. Listen, I'm not a psychopath. You are. <laughs> you are though. <laughs> I just need to use up some onions. In my defense, I had some steak with it too. Steak and onions, not a bad combo, right? I flew too close to the sun. Too many onions. <laughs> you need help. <laughs> You're telling me that you ate three whole onions because you wanted to just use them? Three, you are one person. You are one person. You ate three onions. I made the mistake of sitting on the couch and farting. Now the place where I sat reeks to high hell. Excuse me. I'm surprised I didn't melt a hole through the fabric. Excuse me. The descriptions are absolutely unnecessary. <laughs> I've been trying to fart outside on my balcony to keep from just blowing for breeze in my flat. Now I'm sitting in my office chair and trying not to gag. Gag? Gag? I'm not squeamish, especially not with my own farts. This is different. Too many onions. Why do you keep ending it with too many onions? It, it feels like a novel or like poetry in a way. It feels like poetry, but it's like nasty. My whole apartment smells like a cross between an outhouse and a paper mill with a dash of rotten egg and diarrhea sprinkles. Excuse me! <laughs> Why do you have to describe it like this? Why did I do this to myself? I was a fool. Nay, I am a fool. I don't even want to think of the torrent of butt lava that I'll be subjected to tomorrow morning. 
I'm going to have animal control at my door thinking a family of possums died in the vents. How will I be able to tell my girlfriend that I can't come see her? Because I have putrid onion gas. This is a lamentable misstep on my part. I ate God's apple and now I'm paying the poo poo price. Too many onions. Now he is a walking biohazard, actually. I just don't understand what would compel a normal human being to do this. I don't get it. Kind of scared. I like to creep around my home and act like a goblin. I don't know how, but I just enjoy doing this. Maybe it's my way of dealing with stress or something, but I just do it about once every week. Generally, I'll carry about a sack and creep around in a sort of crouch walking position making goblin noises. Then I'll walk around my house and pick up various different trinkets and put them in my bag while saying stuff like, I'll be having that and laughing manically in my goblin voice. <laughs> No, this person is having fun. This is how you're supposed to live life. It's the little things. It's the little things. The other day I was talking with my neighbors and they mentioned hearing weird noises like what I wrote about. And I was just internally screaming the entire conversation. I'm 99% sure they don't know it's me, but God, that 1% chance is seriously weighing on my mind. How loud are you? <laughs> how loud are you? Like, like it's so weird, but it's cute. <laughs> like you're just trying to have fun. Like, I don't know, I love that. And that is all for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. It was really nice reading these confessions and then also just looking at the subreddit and my a-hole. <sighs> Life is funny. Life is so funny. And don't forget, if you wanted to check out Family Island, you can download it for absolutely free on the App Store and Google Play. And I'll also have a link to download it down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media, especially my Instagram and my Twitter and my TikTok. I will see you guys all in my next one. I love you and peace.